Today I'm making a robot out of scrap pieces left over from the robots I built for school. This robot's kind of similar to the other one that I built in the term two shoots, but I wanted to make one that looked a little bit more intricate. This piece is an adapter made out of EVA foam, hot glue, and sealed in multiple layers of white glue. It was meant to connect the top half of that one robot to a lower half of Let's just say another robot. I made a spine out of a dead pen and a camera lens out of scrap PVC. This whole build is literally just me gluing together random parts in a configuration that I think looks cool. Some of them are even just pressed into the foam. EVA foam is great that way because it acts kind of like a pin cushion. The lower camera lens is the tip of a toy gun that I cut up for the flamethrower build. The legs are made out of pens and foam. The pens that my film school gives out fall apart inside a week, so I thought I'd do something useful with them. I covered the hole in the top with a bottle cap. That red cap underneath is from a bottle of food coloring, which I used up on the flamethrower test film. After I was satisfied with the leg configuration, I coated the new foam parts in glue. When they dried, I masked off some of the parts with tape and painted it red. When the red paint dried, I masked off more parts and painted the legs black. After the paint was dry, I used a glass marble as a camera lens. It's important to note that you could very easily wire this thing up with LEDs and a data recorder connected to a speaker, but I chose not to do that because this was really just for fun. I think I might use it as set deck in a film someday, but it doesn't really have any purpose until then. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then you can check out my other prop tutorials right here. All right, that's, that's it. Jake out.